Hi everyone, this is our first APA lesson and we'll go over title pages and paper formatting. I recommend that you pull up um, your word processor, whether you use Word, uh, Pages, whatever system you use and follow along so that at the end of this lecture you will have your title page formatted and the main uh, paper formatting layout set up. It'll be ideal. All right, so first we'll start with margins. Um, so for APA, we want to have one inch margins on the top, bottom, left and right, um, left and right. And you can do that in Word by going to layout um, and you'll see that the margins are there and you wanna make sure that they're all one, okay? Um, if it has already had, if it already has margins, just make sure to check them because sometimes it will change it so that you have a 1.5 margin on one side, um, and that's okay for like dissertations and like theses and stuff like that. Um, but for the papers you'll be writing in this class and throughout your time at the mount, you want to have one inch margins all the way around. Okay, next, um, some font issues. So uh, you want to use the same font throughout the paper, including the running head. And uh, there are different options of what you can use. They're listed here and uh, visually you can see them as well. The most commonly used font um, and most commonly accepted is gonna be Times New Roman in 12 point. Um, but you are welcome to use Calibri or Arial or what have you using the points that you can see there. So for example, if you're using Georgia, you would use 11 point instead of 12. Okay. Regardless of which font choice, font choice you select, you want to make sure that your font is black throughout the entire paper. This will come um, up as an issue later when we go to references, when you have hyperlinks, but we'll get there later. Um, so you should be able to find your font. You want it to look something like this, Times New Roman, 12 black. Easy so far. Okay, next is line spacing. So we want the entire document to be double spaced. Um, this, the only exception is uh, tables and figures, which are single spaced or 1.5, depending on what the table or figure is. So this means that even your title page and your references are all double spaced. Uh, you also want to make sure that you don't have extra space between paragraphs or headings. So what this means is sometimes, depending on the default settings you have on your word processor, when you end a paragraph and you like press return to start a new one, it will add an extra space. And so it's not necessarily like a whole line, but it's an extra little space um, that makes your gap bigger and it is very noticeable. Um, and is not APA kosher. So make sure that you remove that. And I've put in, I've put here, uh, what you want to check off on Word. So if you go to your paragraph and you select line spacing options, which you can see on the right-hand side of the screen here, it'll bring up this window that says spacing, which you see on the left side. And you want to check off where it says, don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. And that will get rid of that extra space that sometimes is automatically added in erroneously, okay? So spacing 2.0 across the whole place or the whole paper, don't add space between paragraphs of the same style. Next is alignment and justification. Your entire paper with the exception of your headings and your title page should be left justified. And that looks like the one that the arrow is pointing to right there where everything has a clean edge on the left and a jagged edge on the right. Um, you do not want to block justify, which is the one where all edges are lined up. Okay, that's not appropriate for APA. You always want to left justify unless you're doing your title page, which is centered, um, or your some of your first, well, your first level headings, which are centered. We'll get to headings in a few weeks. Okay, so left justify, and then you want to in indent every paragraph 0.5. Your, your word processor probably does this automatically for you, uh, but if it doesn't, you need to press the tab key to move over 0.5. Don't just press the space bar five times. That actually isn't the right distance. Um, yeah. Also, just an FYI, if you are including an abstract, which are not normally required in this class or in most of the classes at the Mount, but if you wanted to include one, you do not indent the first line of the abstract. So a paragraph that's written well, um, not written well, but formatted well, will look something like this. So you'll see that my two, my, both of my paragraphs are indented, 0.5. You'll see that I have double space uh, throughout and I don't have that extra added space between my first and second paragraph. Everything is in Times New Roman, 12 point font, 
black. Here we have an example of what not to do. We've got some funky, unaccepted uh, font here that's in gray and 10 point font. Um, we also have that extra space between the paragraphs that is sometimes put in there automatically, which we need to go and remove. So don't do this. Okay, now let's get into title pages, okay? Um, in the APA textbook, the APA manual, uh, you would want to follow the instructions for the student title page, and that's what I'll walk you through here. First, you're going to want your information, your name, title, and so on to be centered in the upper half of the page, and remember everything is double spaced. A common error with title pages is that the text will be centered, center centered. So if you have your page, right, um, it's supposed to be upper center, not center center. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute if that's not making any sense. Um, but centered in the upper half, usually I'll, at the top of my page, press return four times, one, two, three, four, and start writing there. And you're usually right around upper center. The text that you write is going to include these seven components. First is your title, which should be centered, bold, and positioned in the upper half. Again, three to four lines down. Sorry, that says pages. It should be three to four lines down. One space below. Your full name written in plain text, meaning not bold, not italic. Return again, your school's name, which in our case would be Mount St. Mary's University. Next, the course number and name. So our class is uh, Site 200 Research Methods. Again, return my name. And then one more time with the due date of the assignment. Not the date that you did it, but the due date, okay? So this is what it will look like, okay? Notice that it's in the upper center, not fully centered. Title is centered in bold with title caps, uh, meaning that your main words are titled, or sorry, are capitalized. You've got an extra space underneath your title before you write your name. There you've got my name. Um, these next two lines or next three lines should be exactly as you see here, Department of Graduate Psychology, comma, Mount St. Mary's University. Next line, Site 200, colon, Research Methods. Next line is me, Professor Vaughn. And then the last line would be the due date of the assignment, okay? So that's what that'll look like. So I recommend pausing this video and creating this in um, your word processor right now so that you have it and just put like a mock title um, so that you can always use this one as a template for your assignments, okay? And then we'll go on. So once you've got your title in place, you're going to add what is called a running head. And a running head is a shortened version of your title that serves as a heading that will be repeated throughout your entire document. One important thing about the running head is that it's shortened, meaning that it has to be no more than 50 characters. Note that this is characters, not letters. So this includes spaces and includes punctuation. Okay, so total 50 characters, including letters, spaces, and punctuation for your running head. It should be written in the same font and size as the rest of your paper. So if you selected Times New Roman 12 point font, please be sure that your running head is also in Times New Roman 12 point font. Microsoft Word will default to Calibri or Cambria for your running head and it'll sometimes change the font size to 11. So please be sure to correct that to match the rest of your paper. Your running head should be flush left, not centered, okay? And it should be written in all caps. Now, an important thing that was a change to the seventh edition, this new edition, um, compared to the sixth is that the entire document, your title page and your full paper have the exact same running head, which should look just like that title of your paper, okay? Um, in the past, you would write the words running head and then colon title on the title page, and then the rest of the paper would only have the title. Now they've done away with that, thank goodness, because that was a pain to format in Microsoft Word. You no longer need to write out the words running head colon and then your title, just write your title. And I'll show you that in the next slide. But on Microsoft Word, you would go to the icon there that says header and footer and select header, okay? And then write out your title. Okay, so it's going to look something like this, flush to the left, okay? It says my title, formatting with APA, in all caps, and I've used Times New Roman 12 point font because that is what the rest of my paper is written in, okay? Um, you're also going to add the page number flush right, okay? And so here's page two. Okay. All right, so fully formatted title page, 
in correct APA is going to look like this. Right? We have everything we did from the contents of the title page, and then we've added in the running head. So take a moment, pause the video, add your running head, um, and have this on every single page looking exactly the same, except of course the page number is going to change based on the page number. Okay. All right, so that is it um, for title pages and general formatting. We'll continue uh, in the weeks that come with other things like headings, writing concisely, um, abbreviations, reference pages, in-text citations, all of that good stuff to come. But for now, you have a template, the title page, and a, um, a document that you can then start typing into. All right. Um, if you've got questions about this or you're having trouble finding the correct options in your particular word processor, we can absolutely address those in class this week. All right. Thanks, everybody.